Meet the Taylor family. They're gathering in Effingham to surprise Derek Taylor with good news. Now we're going to tell him that he's actually going to get to come home. Via Skype. I'm just nervous that it may not work because we're supposed to be Skyping him and I know he's at training right now. Derek is in the U.S. Army. He's been away from his wife and two young children for eight months in South Korea. They ask me every day where he's at and when he's coming home. And of course, I just have to tell him soon, just soon. His wife Lucy is excited to share her surprise that they are able to bring him home for Thanksgiving. But one surprise deserves another. TJ Hodges of Roses from Linda shares more good news. The family was told they had enough for one trip. I have enough for two flights. And good things come in three, so what would a day of surprises be without one more? And I'm sure you'll agree that what lies behind this door is the biggest surprise of them all. And behind that door, after more than a day of travel, is Derek. While the family is waiting to Skype him, little do they know, He's just four floors away. Mm, I know my kids are going to be happy. My wife, she, she'll probably be happy, but I've been telling her so many little white lies the last few days. Oh, my goodness, I feel so sorry. This trip is especially emotional for Derek because his father, James, who was a veteran, suffered a stroke while Derek was in South Korea. He uh, supposedly got really bad, didn't know anything about it. I had a phone call in the middle of the night. But James is there and ready to Skype. But after supposed technical difficulties, TJ has another idea. Why Skype when you can meet face to face? It's overwhelming for some, emotional for more than just the family. I was, I was proud at first, and then I got uh, teary eyed, and then I saw his mom start crying, and it reminded me of my mom, and this is why I do what I do. And for Derek, his traveling 39 hours without sleep doesn't matter. He's only home for 10 days and plans to make the most of it. I don't see me sleeping much. I have literally nothing planned. Nothing. I wasn't expecting him home. I have nothing planned. For this family, the holidays came early this year. Ashley Avaya, WAND News.